Hi guys, I'm here with Sasha Peters, Hi. Alison from Pretty Little Liars, <laughs> and we're going to have an amazing chat. So perfect. Right. Hi. So people may not know this, but you were 12 years old when you auditioned for Pretty yeah. Little Liars. What do you think were the advantages and disadvantages of getting into such a big show at a young age? Um, well, first of all, I mean, I guess this is kind of a disadvantage. Um, usually you play, or you're older and you're playing younger when you get a TV show because um, you can work longer hours. So um, as a minor, you're restricted in that way. Mm -hmm. So the fact that I even got the role was um, amazing in the first yeah. place. That doesn't happen usually. Um, but I feel like I had the best of both worlds because I got to grow up on such an amazing set. Um, our crew is absolutely incredible, and that's one of the parts that I miss the most, is just the connection that we made. Yeah. So I was kind of protected in that way. Um, but the other thing is that I was an only child, or what should I say, still, a, still <laughs> am an only child. Um, and I was homeschooled, and I grew up in the business, and I started really young. So I think it was a combination of me um, not really feeling uncomfortable. I yeah. felt very comfortable on set. Most of my friends were older anyway. And then it was also them not treating me any different. Yeah. So, um, Overall, I think it was just a really, really good experience and an environment for me to grow up in. I mean, I, I, I you know, went through all of my major life experiences yeah. of that age. Um, literally learning how to drive, uh, you know, graduating high school, yeah. uh, getting engaged. I just, I went through all of these really important stages and um, I don't really think that there would have been anywhere else that I would rather have been. That's saying I'm lucky. <laughs> and very, yes, I'm very, very blessed to be in that position, that's yeah. for sure. And as your parents were professional acrobat dancers, which is so cool, <laughs> yeah. did they help you with dancing on the stars? With the stars? Dancing with the stars. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, you know what's funny is I thought that they would have a lot more input, and I, they, they didn't. They were just, they were there at every single show. They were so proud, so happy, um, and they did come to one of the rehearsals. But they, I think, left it up to Glove, and, and they totally trusted him. And actually, Glove and my dad had very similar um, experiences um, as far as you know when they started dancing and, and how they started competing and that sort of thing. So I think they had a lot in common. And my dad was like, well, he's doing a great job. I don't, I don't really know what else to say. <laughs> yeah, you didn't need to. So um, I know that they were really happy and really proud of me and excited that I was um, on the show. But yeah. I was actually very surprised that they didn't have any critiques or anything. Yeah, you'd think. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are doing something right. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah. If you have nothing yeah. to say, that means you're doing it right. Right, yeah. <laughs> and I love your blog, Sasha in oh, Good Taste. Thank it's you. so good. I, I appreciate could it. everything from it. Thank um, you. What inspired you to start that? Um, actually, it was because I wanted to write a book. So I, I really want to really? write a cookbook. And um, my agent was like, you know, one of the best ways to do it is to start a blog. And so I did, and I ended up really loving it, and people did too, which was incredible. So um, I feel bad because I haven't posted a lot yet. And um, it's been Christmas though. The yeah, it was Christmas. It was Dancing with the Stars. Fun. It was yeah. I've been yeah. traveling a lot, but uh, I promise there'll be more. And in the meantime, I'm, I am writing my cookbook, which is so exciting. Um, so uh, that has just been. Amazing. Amazing, yeah. yeah What's so your fun. favorite recipe from your future cookbook? <laughs> well, this the first book is um, all about little tapas and little desserts, and it's about entertaining. My favorite. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So um, I don't know if I have a favorite yet. I have a major sweet tooth, so there's mm -hmm. one with ch chocolate and peaches and these little like pastry cups, mm. and oh, it's so good. Oh, that's a bit me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then the second half of the book is going to be about entertaining and how to present it and how to put you know your table together and create little fun things and oh, homemade stuff. And, and it's yeah. even better because you're so young and got an influence on such young people, they'll yes. get that book and then they'll be able to learn before they get to like, oh my God, I'm having a dinner party. Like, <laughs> what, what do I do? I do? Yeah. yeah, and then that's really kind of the idea is, you know, I want to target um, that for sure. And like young college students and things that you can do that aren't um, expensive yes. as far as throwing parties and that sort of thing. but also you know cater to people that are older than that too so yeah it's a little fun thing that um i wasn't sure would ever come to fruition and it is so it's very exciting oh that's amazing and you've also written some songs yeah and i don't know if you know this but hugh collins your on-screen murderous husband oh yeah he is actually composes music yeah does he really yeah i had no idea yeah he composed music for a short film hobby I'm gonna to talk to him about that. Yeah, I think you guys should come up with because something. Because he has never told me that. That's very strange. I wonder why. <laughs> Maybe because really he didn't because he didn't want to feel like he was like, oh, I, I'm a composer. Like, uh, pff, sorry. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he would 100% have been like, so I do music too. <laughs> well, now you've had me do it. Right, exactly. How am I gonna to talk to him about that? That's hilarious. 
And have you got your script for The Perfectionist yet? So I read um, the first draft, but so the thing with um, when, you, when you're pitching to networks, um, there's all of these drafts that go through and some get approved, some get denied, you need to change things. So I read the original one, but Marlene has written so many drafts, <laughs> I actually don't know what the script looks like now, but I'm gonna be doing the tale read very soon and we're gonna start filming really soon, which is so exciting. I'm so excited. And so I will be reading it very, very soon. Have you got any sneak peeks of anything that you know could happen? Um, you know, I don't, I don't know what I can give away and what I can't. Um, I think I can say that it, it picks up pretty shortly after the show ended. I think it's like a year or two after, um, which is, is fun, it's really exciting. And um, because a lot has changed, I don't know what's accurate and what isn't. <laughs> but it, it really is gonna have that PLL vibe. Um, yeah. As much as it's this totally new world, uh, Allison and uh, Mona are very much the same people. So they're diving into this strange, unknown territory. And what I love about this is that The Perfectionist is a totally different book series that had nothing to do with PLL. Um, but because it's mixed with PLL now, um, the fans of The Perfectionist don't know exactly what's happening. Yeah. And obviously all the PLL fans don't know what's happening either. So there's a lot more mystery involved and I think Marlene has a lot more creativity and room yeah. to to expand this yeah, new definitely. world. Yeah. yeah, so I think the fans are really going to enjoy it. It's going to be yeah. very fun to oh, see. So excited. Yeah, it's a new adventure. Do you think Marlene's going to do the same thing as she did with Pretty Little Lies and keep you, Janelle, and Sophia in the dark about everything <laughs> that's going to happen? Possibly. <laughs> I mean, you know what? I wouldn't. I, I, I'm not sure. I'm going to hound her more than I did, I think, yeah. in PLL. I'm like, oh, I've earned it. <laughs> Tell I've me been everything. here for seven years. I never ruined anything. <laughs> um, so hopefully she shares a little bit more with me, but uh, who knows? Uh, I think. Part of her fun is not necessarily keeping us in the dark, but keeping the mystery alive even yeah. for us. Yeah, for you, yeah. So I'm sure there's maybe things that she'll tell me that she won't tell somebody else, and you know, like likewise with yeah. that whole thing. So I think she likes to give little Easter eggs for each character, which is Ooh. fun. Like Spencer, so Torian knew yeah, that yeah. there was going to be a twin for uh, like three years. I don't know how. So she unfair. <laughs> um, and eventually, I was like, you know something. <laughs> And so, yeah, I'm not as, actually not from her, but I found out a little bit before everybody else did, which I was like, score! <laughs> um, but it really does make our jobs a little bit more interesting yeah. as well. Oh, definitely, yeah. yeah. I love how she does that. I think it's really smart. She is, she's really smart. And on top of that, if she does change something, we would never know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Until it happens. <laughs> Until it happens, yeah. And I've heard that you also have a love for interior design. I very much do, yeah. Is that a career path you'd ever go down? Actually, um, yes. Oh. Um, yeah, i kind of playing on along the lines of Sasha and Good Taste. I, I want it to kind of be this, um, I don't know, a new adventure for me as far as, um, I don't know, I want to do decor lines yeah. and um, expand my decor side as far as the blog goes as well and do this kind of mixture where they kind of correlate. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and I love to entertain. Um, could you do it in another book? <laughs> yeah, I could. That would be really fun. I would totally love to do that. So that world is definitely going to expand and grow, yeah. and um, hopefully everybody else enjoys it as much as I do. And one of your first ever films, The Adventures of Shark Boy <laughs> and Lava Girl. Yes. It's my, it, was, and it still is one of my favorite films. Oh my gosh, films. that's sweet. Thank and you. And you played the Ice Princess, yeah. which I, when I was younger, I was like, that's me. I try and learn your lines whenever nice. you come on and be like, yes, it's me, it's me, it's my time. <laughs> That's so cute. I appreciate that. Thank you. Do you still talk to anyone now as it was your first film? Um, I actually, funny enough, really do. So, um, Taylor Lautner, obviously, I mean, he's still good, we're good family friends. Um, and Taylor Dooley, who played Lava Girl, yeah. we are too. And she actually lives pretty close to me. And she's got this incredibly beautiful little baby boy. Aww. And um, I see her all the time. And that's really great because just like PLL, I feel like there are certain connections that you make in the business and mm. they become your lifelong friends, yeah. um, which is amazing. So I've been really blessed in that way to really be able to work with people that are quality, good people. So. Um, yeah, thank you for asking that. Thank you for, okay. for loving that movie. Oh. Uh, it was just so long ago. It's funny when people bring it up, I forget, I kind of forget about it. So, um, yeah, thank you. It's okay. Thank you for talking to me. For yeah, of course. I will see you later. Bye.